Well, happy Monday, everybody, and welcome to Virtual Happy Hour. Glad you're along. Uh, Monday, uh, 90 plus degrees. Day, gosh, it's like it, it's like uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All it's it's. I have no idea. I just know it's Monday because of the first show of the week. That's the reason I know it's Monday. I mean, it's runs together. Anyway, time of virtual happy hour. Get your cold one, get your beverage, a choice, whatever it is you got. Let's roll the open. Let it's roll the open for a Monday here on Virtual Happy Hour. Uh-huh. It's Monday, 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 Monday. Boy, um, absolutely nothing really to report. Then again, there's always something to report, right? Glad you're along. Uh, In case you're just joining us for the first time, wherever you might be, uh, what exactly are we doing? Well, we just do a little uh, sit around and chat. We just kind of, you tell me what you're doing. I tell you what I'm doing. My wife might stop by. Somebody else might stop by. You never know what's going to happen. It's it's that kind of deal. We actually adjust the camera. Just a tad here. Get my full mug in there. Uh, also, time to put the open sign up. We love this part of the show. That means we're open. Open for business. Open for something. And if you'd like to join us on the show live, I've got the virtual green room open right now. There it is. Right there. Uh, just go follow that link, and you'll take you right there. I'll know you're there. I'll bring you on. If not, we're going to just chat back and forth. That's all good as well. Cousin Blake, going to see Lachlan in Perth. Uh, GM on the corner, uh, Mom in Indiana, Kevin in Minnesota, all those out there. Bring the volume down just a tad, a little hot right here. Uh, yeah, speaking of hot, speaking of temperature, it is in the Dallas Ford Metroplex today. Uh, last I checked, the thermometer was at 93 degrees Fahrenheit. I convert that as you may, other parts of the world, and we're now in day 98. That's that's 98 days at our house. Uh, that's since we returned. Well, we returned from Belize 98 days ago. Uh, we went into that uh, initial lockdown on the 22nd. Our first show was the 23rd of March. And since that time, we've just been rolling right along. And uh, my file of these shows that I saved to archive, is pretty big. Uh, on the show today that I do have planned, I, I will play. I saw Lachlan out there. I'm going to play a little, uh, a little Australian uh, for our show, my Australian show, coming up on Wednesday with Paul Morgan. I was all excited because the reason I didn't get the open those lyrics or actually the open lyrics with the music, which I'll talk about that in a moment for Kevin. So I worked on these other two projects this weekend and kind of kind of proud of myself. So I'm going to pat myself on the back a little bit and do that. Uh, questions, comments, I'd have you guys join me as well. Get the virtual green news open. Uh, let's see here. Monday, 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 wear your mask Monday. I, I was I was going to play a, a video by uh, Michael Rappaport. Is that his name? The, the actor? Uh, this guy, I always liked the guy anyway, so it's not, I, would, I enjoyed him. Plus, he's on a, uh, a show on Netflix called, I think it's Netflix, called A Typical, really good show. He and Jennifer Jason Lee. Uh, really good show. Wife and I have gotten through all three seasons. We're waiting for fourth season to come up. Really good stuff. Uh, but uh, I saw online today, he went on this tirade about masks and not wearing masks. And I got to tell you, it was pretty good. So you can find that out there. It was posted on Facebook several places. You may see that. Bring the audio down just a tad there. Uh, I would play it, except for the F-bomb is about every, I mean, I don't really, I mean, be, Beep, 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 beep. That's what it sound like. Like my wife leaving church in the parking lot. No, I'm kidding, honey. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Andrew, good to see you as well in KC. Speaking of KC, tomorrow, a little preview, and I'll go back to this at the end. I had to move the show, the talking, the I'm sorry, the T-Bone Steakhouse with Dan Vaughn. I had to move that to Tuesday. At lunchtime, usually it airs Wednesday, twelve o'clock Central Time, uh, but I had to move it to tomorrow. Uh, we've got actually got a memorial service to go to on Wednesday. Uh, a dear friend of ours, some of you TCAers out there may know, uh, may remember call, but Steve Fox, a friend of ours, uh, lost his father uh, about a month and change ago, 
and we're going to go to a, a memorial service at lunchtime on Wednesday uh, for that family. And so we're going to be gone out of pocket. So we're the show back to tomorrow. Uh, Rob Padir from this week in the association will join us. Kevin had an offer as well. Kevin, uh, De- they're both, of course, Kevin and Rob, both of this week in the American Association baseball report. And they, uh, uh, they, uh, well, I, I should say it. Kevin handed the ball to Rob and Rob ran right for the hole and touched down. And that's, they, that's, that's all she wrote. Uh, yes, temperature not too bad today. Actually, uh, when I went out and did my workout a little late this morning, because this time of year, you know, first off, this house has lost 100 pounds. How about that? Yes, we've lost 100 pounds combined to the house. Um, that's since uh, GM started it around October 1-ish, uh, maybe even more like into September or middle of September, but it was around the time... I came back from Kansas City, which usually on the 20th of September, uh, she started then and got a head start. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, my wife. I drew my wife off sides. Yes, uh, like a good Baptist does, right, honey? I, 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 are you telling me that I cuss in the church parking lot? Only at certain decals of my brethren in the church because – I think I'm only. I think I'm on an island by myself when it comes to fandom at my church. I mean, I, I just connect the dots. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously Christian Baptist. Uh, uh, the most of the fans that are people there are mostly fans of a Baptist school, and I went to a secular state school, which I'm very proud of. Connect the dots there. So uh, all good. Um, August 22nd, my wife said she started August 22nd. So back to the weight loss thing. Um, Whole. I mean, we already we already as a family, myself, my wife, Joy, I'm all out in Lubbock. We'd already got the hundred pound mark already because Joy, I believe, had lost. I thought she lost eighteen or nineteen pounds at one point, and I was in the forty pound range, and the wife was in the thirty pound. We were right there at hundred pound, right there at the hundred pound mark. I mean, give or take, we were close. One point, firmly in the ninety pound mark, and then from about May on, uh, the hundred pound. But now my wife and I have hit the 100 pound mark together and she looks great. Uh, but anyway, we're working out. I say workout. Uh, she's actually jogging and doing the whole running thing. Got the whole uh, running gear going and she's doing the running in the morning. Uh, I'm, I'm a heavy kid in it still. And I don't know. I don't know how long my knees and my ankles could take the pounding. The walking is, is, is less strenuous about, um, Six months ago, I'd have been sitting down because my back would have been hurting too much. But I'm able to walk 30, 35 minutes straight, not jogging, but straight. And what I was trying to say was that it wasn't too bad this morning, usually on Monday, because I don't usually work out on Sunday. I, I usually work out six days a week. And, and I, I started 17 minutes and now 30, 30 plus. But it's, it's that time of year where it starts to get really hot. If you go 11 o'clock onward, you know, you're taking matters of heat into your own hands uh, luckily today, and I was, she told me, oh, it's hot out there. And she went before me, and I was overslept a little bit. We've been staying up late watching <laughs> watching Yellowstone. That's part of the problem. Uh, but uh, I got out there, and I was actually wearing a longer, long sleeve to sweat a little bit, a, uh, one of those uh, wicking shirts, kind of a, you know, the, the workout shirt. And uh, it wasn't terrible. Now, granted, it's 93 degrees now, but at lunchtime today, it was – still the 80s, and we're heading to 4th of July. We're not going to hit triple digits until after 4th of July. So uh, uh, for us around here, that's pretty big. Uh, if we can somehow get to mid-July without hitting triple dri- digits, August will fly by. We'll be back down to the, the reason we all live in Texas, because the weather's awesome except for two months a year, uh, pretty much. So that, there, there's the workout thing. Yes, August 22nd is what we've been doing. Uh, uh, Kevin says... Yes, tomorrow's show that I've moved up on the T-Bone side of things, the handsome Rob Pinnier, yes. Uh, he doesn't have quite the uh, playoff beard going or COVID beard that you've got going, does he, yeah? So, uh, but I'll be tomorrow at noon. You want to talk some baseball, American Association baseball, that on Wednesday night, and then it'll be Thursday morning in Australia, Talking Baseball Australia returns, and we'll be having uh, that. Paul Morgan and I will be doing that live on Facebook on Talking Baseball Australia, talking uh, uh, major return mostly, 
and we're working on some other projects as well. Then Thursday, busy week for me. Thursday, I've got the uh, T-Bones Vault, The Greatest Hits. We'll be opening up the Greatest Hits album of the T-Bones. We'll open that up and uh, find a good track and play a game from uh, the last couple of years. And I believe I'm going back to 2000, and I think I'm going to 2018, I believe, with this one. I believe it's the combined no-hitter from Grand Prairie, I believe. I think that's what I've decided on. So uh, let's play catch up here. What else we got out there? Uh, uh, yes, Aggies and Bears drive me nuts. Yes, they do. Uh, and so when I see those those emblems, I tend to uh, they tend to get a little hot in the collar in church parking lot. I'm just saying. I love them all the same. I love those people. They're all great, great brothers in the, in, in, in the Jesus. But I must admit that my loyalties are red and black and uh, ain't going to change. So uh, all good. Let's see here. Uh, the wife is telling me 27. What was the 27, dear? Uh, anyway. Uh, Kevin chimes in. Kevin saying, general question for anyone out here that has arthritis, do you have any special meds or balm that you would recommend? I'm going to try CBD oil on my knees and see what happens. I've heard very good things about CBD oil, Kevin. I don't know anything personally. Uh, luckily for me right now, uh, the knees are okay, but I do go through some stretches where the shoulder and the knee does act up as Max comes out. Hey, buddy. When, uh, let's say hello to the crowd. Here you go, bud. Come here. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. There he is, folks. Max the dog. There he is. He had to come out here and see me. But yes, uh, I've heard good things, Kevin, about CBD oil. Uh, from what I understand, I don't know more than that. I do know this. Uh, we talked to my mom last week. We were actually talking about uh, doing some farming in West Texas, uh, uh, planting the hip seeds out there uh, for that for that very reason, to uh, manufacture the oils and, and things, the medicinal needs and that thing as well. I know that's something that some uh, Texas farmers are experimenting with because apparently the seed is very good in the heat and they're giving the seed away for free. No risk right there, right? So let's see what we got here. Ah, GM says, I have a good thing. Yes, I have to try out different doses. I hear that. That's what I think kind of what we both had heard about as well. I get a little turf toe, and my, again, my knees do get a little sore, so I'm kind of with you, Kevin. I found, though, for me anyway, the biggest thing that's helped me is just, A, the walking, and B, the, the slight weight loss. That's helped some, too. Uh, COVID beard. No COVID beard. So you're all good. All right. Well, your, your beard, your, your T-Bones shot was, uh, your T-Bones jersey was pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here on the chat? Uh, let's see here. The one Jackson. Oh, yes. Yes. The the show on Thursday, which will be actually not on. If, I don't think I'm going to carry it on Facebook Live, although I might. Because I, the problem is going to be with that is if I do carry it on Facebook Live, Facebook will hear the return music and some of those cuts. And I was actually going to play some jams during during the show anyway. Uh, the full. I'm going to play the full return rather than playing – for example, rather than playing all the commercial spots, I'm going to play a full song for you guys during the break to kind of reshuffle the deck a bit and then maybe chat about Because I know a lot of people like to talk about the music, so I'll give you guys. But this is going to be on audio. This is going to be on MixLR on the T-Bones channel. Um, I thought about carrying it on Facebook Live. I still might. I uh, don't know. But, again, if I do, uh, there's a good chance it'll get muted anyway because the return music. And, plus, if they're hearing the play-by-play, -play, let's say uh, you hear a song in the background – YMCA, for example, uh, they might mute that. And I don't want that to be muted, the show to be muted. So we're going to stick with the audio side. There's interactive chat there as well. You can go back, interactive chat. And this particular game we're talking about was a double header in 2018 where one of my interns just decided he was going to cover one game. And he, he listened to the broadcast, wrote the game story, and went about his business. Oh, we have a second game to play, another seven-inning ball game. Yes, we did. And we wound up with a seven-inning ball game, a no-hitter, combined no-hitter, and a very big part of a, a stretch run for the T-Bones that year in a championship season. And, uh, yeah, my, my staff just kind of blew it off as if, uh, what, no-hitter? Eh, eh. We just did the first game. Kids these days, right? Kids these days. Uh, Jackson, you're doing well, I hope, though, buddy. So uh, all good. 
yes, cousin is going to Aggie Land. That's a shame. I, I don't want to tell you about that. Uh, at least he has the middle name of Vaughn. But, but then again, that's the only Vaughn I know will be going to AM. I'm just saying. I mean, yes, congratulations to Peyton Vaughn Peterson, my cousin in Houston, the poor young man, the poor young lad. A uh, very nice young man, by the way. Super kid. Uh, my my cousin Heather is just phenomenal. The, and really, I, my 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 cousins all on, on my, that side of the family are just we're all real close, and we're all very proud of each other. Although I will have to say that a little misguided in his college choice. But hey, okay. I mean, somebody's got somebody's got to go to school there. Somebody must go to school there, and it's gonna be him. His choices were Baylor and AM. It was kind of like, I know a lot of my Baylor friends out there get mad at me. Not my Aggie friends get mad at me, but hey. The hope is, though, there is hope, there is hope that uh, Bennett Vaughn will be in Lubbock next spring. And if that happens, that'll be, there'll be a Vaughn in Lubbock again, which is scary. And the chance that possibly Bennett could be taught by his cousin, his bonus cousin, Joy Amal, who'll be on English faculty out there. That would be delicious, is all I can say, delicious. And uh, uh, I imagine that young Bennett will be in a fraternity and Joy Mall not so much in the fan of those folks. This could be a delicious interaction of uh, teaching assistant slash grad student and her cousin. Could be fun. Anyway, uh, what else we got here? Uh... Uh, Moringa powder. I don't know what that is, Connie, but I'll take your word for it. It sounds like it works. It, it, it's one of those names that sounds like it works, right? I mean, you, there's certain things, either they sound good or you know it just works. I mean, like, uh, you know, I don't know, some Moringa powder. It's like when I say aiming fluid, it doesn't sound like it works, right? But uh, if I say lots of Jaeger, lots of Crown, lots of Jack, you're like, oh, yeah, that sounds great, right? Aiming fluid. But, uh, Moringa powder. So, uh, Kevin, try that as well. Don't know much about that. Uh, saw that. Okay. Let's see what Kevin's got here. Uh, let's see here. I right. play commercial mix are the part of the charm is broadcast. Call, call. Yes, I will play selective commercial cuts on Wednesday. Call Before You Dig was a 2018 commercial. That's part of the Kansas uh, Department of something. Um it was a, it's an issue of no, don't, don't dig without knowing what's below. You know, don't start digging a line and boom, you hit the electric or gas line. That's what it was. Call before you dig. So yeah, we'll have to play that one. Some of those, I think a couple of those sponsors may have uh, not survived COVID. That's the lottery ones are always good too. Also, there's a, uh, I mean, the music, I get a lot of compliments on. They love to play the, the one of the things we do is because, because my broadcast is done in-house, we play our return music because I own all the music. It's my copies from, you know, from back in the day. So I'm able to uh, uh, kind of freelance a bit and they even take requests for return music. And uh, there's a story behind some of those jams. So we'll play those. As well. we'll, we'll talk about that as well. So uh, all good. Glad you guys are along. Uh, let's see what else we got. I got a, lot of, a lot of chat today. A lot of chat today. Uh, Donna, good to see you up at KC. Uh, where else? Virginia out in California, uh, Indiana, Australia. Good day, Mike. Good morning. And uh, uh, no, mom is not in the green room yet. Well, you want to join me in the green room, honey, just to show them how it works? Uh, you can uh... also CBD. Yes, yes. We're and that's that's what I think we suggested too to Kevin. Uh, I, I've heard great things, and there's been several ads on the radio here in Dallas, uh, just in general about it. I think that's become a real accepted practice. I, I, I think, um, the medicinal values of it. I think I, I, I've heard, again, I am no expert in this. Sorry, I get the microphone there. No expert in this, uh, but I heard the recovery time helps that helps with recovery time. It's almost like a, um, a legal steroid where, you know, that's one reason players have always, wanted to use steroids, it helps the recovery. But I've heard that the CBD oil helps with recovery of muscles and things of that nature. But again, right now, I'm just trying to get through my workout without collapsing. That's what I'm trying to do. So uh, 
All good. Uh, I did not come up with the uh, words of the song, uh, in the open song. There they are right there. Sorry, Kevin. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I did not um, did not get a chance to because I was working on a couple other things. And there's the virtual happy hour uh, lyrics. I will get to this week. Probably won't be till Friday because I got a pretty loaded week until Friday, but probably send on Thursday ish after the show radio show i can get to it on friday maybe uh maybe caroline can help me with it as well uh but i, I wanted to show you why i didn't get to it here's why i didn't get to it and i want to give you guys a little show of why i was actually what i was actually doing and why that uh, didn't quite work out for us so let me give it to you right now um i got to get mentioned to have the show coming back uh, but major league baseball's back we're actually doing our uh, paul morgan and i are doing our uh, our, our Talking Baseball Australia show returning. It was a radio show back in the day. Uh, we turned it into um, turned it into a video blog. I can find it for you here. There we go. But Paul and I did this radio show. Actually, we, it was it was done a year before we got to, before I got to Perth. It was actually done eleven and twelve in Perth, and then when I came over in twelve thirteen, uh, the Heat, the Perth Heat, and the ABL, the Australian Baseball League. Uh, they had this show at Sport FM there there in Perth, and uh, uh, Paul and I did the show together, and we did it with a couple of the guys at the time, and then Paul and I just kept going, and finally the show, let, we've kind of gone from the radio station, uh, buying time to put it on Facebook and on podcasts, and so now there's actually something to talk about, we're actually going to uh, do that, so let me give you guys the, uh, the, 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 this is the show open here, if I can find it, <laughs> somewhere. Thought I had it. Where did I put the show open? Actually, this is the close. What the close in there first? Let me see if I can find the show open. I had it for us, but I don't know what I do with it. Try it again here. But I want to play this for you guys. Uh, this is my reason for not because this again, this is kind of new for me. I mean, it's I'm working on this. These are all new things for me. I mean, these are things that I've talked about uh, trying to get better at my craft, trying to get better at what I'm doing, and one of those things is to improve my video editing, a video product, and that kind of thing. So that's where this came from. i got to find it here for us. I can find it. I even got a new countdown and everything. So I'm all very excited about this. So the, the one I did for us, for our show, was actually sort of cheated a little bit. I did it with the program. This is one that I did on our own, if I can find the open for us. But I seem to can't. I had this problem last night, didn't I, honey? The wife knows this whole story. Had a problem with it last night. I don't see it. Oh, well, I'll do a search for it while we're chatting amongst ourselves. But anyway, uh, you guys get the idea. Uh, let's do the open here. I had it, thought it the right file. I had this problem last night. Oh, oh, here's the open. Okay, found it. And it's going to be right here. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's uh, pull this up again. I worked on this all weekend. It's the reason the uh, words and lyrics are on the screen because I didn't get a chance to put those to the video, but I will put uh, the reason was because of these two two items right here. This one is the first one. I was kind of uh, sort of, uh, I'm not as proud of it as, as the other one, but I think it'll work. And so let me go ahead and give it to you. Version one of the Talking Baseball Australia show open which will air on Thursday. This is this is my excuse, Kevin, okay? So here's excuse number one that loads in there for us. Sorry about that. I keep shaking the camera. I'm going to pull this down. Pull down the widgets, Vaughn, the widgets, the widgets, the widgets. Then I'll get back to the chatter. Got all kind. Yeah, my organization skills, yeah. Well, again, I've got a lot of things in the air, a lot of different stuff going on, and it's almost impossible to – I mean, even the season's canceled. Now all that stuff I worked on for the season's gone. So all right, here is the open. This is the show open for Talking Baseball Australia, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put me off here and uh, pull the text screen down. And let's go ahead and roll. This is the open of the show for Talking Baseball Australia. This is what I've worked on. It's Talking Baseball Australia. It's baseball updates you'll really love. The MLB and ABL news you want. With Paul Morgan and Dan Vaughn. It's baseball's best mate all year round. From the batter's box to the mound. 
Okay, now that is the open of the show, and uh, yeah, not bad. I, I think it's okay. I mean, one of my goals is to come out of this whole thing better, and so if I keep editing and working on videos, eventually this stuff's going to get better. My cooking videos are going to get better. My production is going to get better. And my uh, the one-man band that I am, as you noticed, the open of the show's gotten better. I've gotten much better at that. So that is the open. Here's the close. And I really like this. I, this one took me a lot longer because I do a lot more digging up a uh, video. But let me pull it up. Same open shot, but let's pull it up for you. Here is the close of Talking Baseball Australia that will uh, be uh, going. Here we go. There you go. That is the uh, piece. Now, in that piece, Kevin, I'm running this to Kevin Luco here, who's uh, watching in Minnesota. Uh, there should be two things that stand out to you from that video. Uh, one, where was, if you saw the first, you'll see the first fire, actually, the firework shots were done in the American Association, named the two parks. Secondly, did you see the cameo in there of one uh, certain former St. Saint Paul Saint? Did you see that cameo? Now, that was actually uh, shot in Melbourne in 2016, I believe. I think that was right, 16, 17, somewhere there. Uh, anyway, so uh, that's why I don't have the audio paired up to the video for the open. So all good. Let's play catch up here and see what we've got. Uh, no, mom's on the green. Uh, let's see here. I uh, love the Aussie baseball open and close. Thank you. My wife is very partial. I could I could sing karaoke. She'd think it's great. Uh, she's the best fan, though. I'm very fortunate. Something Ryan Hyatt and I have talked about out in Lubbock, that how fortunate. I know he tests his wife, how, how fortunate he has to have a big fan like her. And I don't have a big fan with my wife. Very fortunate. Uh, yeah, my organizational skills suck. Uh, yeah, Samantha says, uh, you're the expert of jugglers. Yeah. That too. <laughs> uh, yes, I've been known to juggle, <laughs> at least back in my younger days. Love, love those songs. Love, love, love those. Yes, thank you very much. Um, Hamburger Man, yes. Kevin, you see Mark Hamburger's uh, appearance in the video. Now, what that video, uh, what I did was, I was trying to put something together just generic, right? But then I realized all the videos I recorded in my time in Australia are usually uh, of two things. Uh, first pitches, a, a few walk-off situations, some crowd shots. And then the kids run in the outfield, which is very big out there. Do they open the gates up the seventh inning, kids run the outfield from outfield to outfield. The other being the seventh inning stretch. And I recorded several uh, different ballparks, Perth a bunch of times, but Melbourne, uh, Canberra, uh, Sydney, uh, Brisbane, Adelaide, all those parks that I recorded at some point take me out to ball game. Plus, in Perth, the uh, Daryl uh, Bra uh, Brathwaite song. Does that say Bla Brathwaite? They say his name. Uh, the song "Horses" is a big anthem over in Australia. We played it at Perth as well. I had recorded that one several times as well. So I had all those. So I realized I just went ahead and just. I also had an audio version. That audio track was from 2013 of Paul, myself. A uh, guy named Chris Dunn out of Chicago. Uh, Tom Fee, who lives there in Perth, works for the uh, Frio Dockers uh, AFL footy team, and some other fans all singing together, take me out the ball game. And so I had that audio, and I used it for the talking baseball show on the radio out there in 2013. I've just kept it in the vault. So I had the track, so I just put those videos. And for the most part, you see, like Paul was saying, Perth, and yeah, and you had the one from Mark Hamburger, the Camber crowd doing two, or they were doing, no, Perth was in two, Camber doing three. Uh, so, again, 
that, that was my secret. So that's something I've not done since I was in college. And when I did that back in the day, it was on an old beta hi-fi tape. And this was all done on computers. So I'm very proud of myself. So, Kevin, that's my reason for, uh, for it all. Uh, let's see here. The wife says before she joins us, she has a walk-up song. Uh, let's see. First off, she says, uh, yeah, I need to do some new, a new, a new uh, that video of me. I am Fat Albert there. Boy, it's terrible. But that's that's the best I can do right now. We'll we'll replace that cut down the road. Uh, wife wants a walk up song. Come on the air. Uh, yeah, we can probably do that. Actually, uh, Morgan Kalinda, our marketing director in, in Kansas City, uh, she does have a walk up song for when we come back to the T Bones channel next year. She's gonna have her own walk up and whole intro bit as well. So uh, that's my wife could get. We, we can work on that this week, honey. When I have more, when I have nothing else to do, we'll work on that. Okay. So what, what's everybody else doing? What, what is going on? Um, anybody, good mood, bad mood, otherwise, tell me something. Tell me something good. Tell me what you're doing. i uh, tell you I'm getting low on adult beverage here. I, I don't have waitress service here, so this is a very quiet patio. Uh, but again, the uh, the virtual green room is open. Love to have you join me. Kevin, Mom, whoever. The wife, you can wife, you can join me from in there if you'd like. It's all good. Uh, the virtual green room was open. Love to have you guys join us and chat a bit. Again, the show is just it's basically me chatting to you. It'd be like you and me at a bar, and I'm just chatting and I won't shut up. Right? It's kind of what it is. But the idea though is, is that the show is kind of free topic. Throw a few topics out there, see what sticks in the wall. It's a lot like your mates when you go to the pub. How was work? What's going on? Who the t who who saw this? Who saw that? You know, what's going on? All that. And as we and just on cue, there we go. The, uh, the 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 waitress is here, and I guess are you going to join us on the I show guess or? I had to bring you your drink. What? Since I had to bring you your drink, I guess. I'll so you're going to join us? Are you? Sure. I mean, are you prepared? Or are you just kind of mailing it in today? Or I don't know. You don't know. You don't yeah. know. Sure. You've been sleeping on the couch all afternoon. I'm just on the couch all afternoon. Yeah, I kind of. So she'll join us. She'll take off the uh, headpiece here so I can hear her. But, uh, again, join me, sweetheart, please. And let's bring in the... Uh... I wasn't sleeping all afternoon on the couch. I just fell asleep on the last show. Oh, how, what was the last show, by the way? I mean, Very, I, it was pretty good. Actually, you're going to have to come a little closer to me. I can't move your knee. No, you're going to have to move the chair a little closer because it's going to be... The, 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 mic, the mic will pick us both up, but I need one more of these. Uh, Let's see here. Connie says, mandatory mask at Elkhart. Uh, did you, by chance, I haven't talked to you about this, and I meant to send it down to you, but did you see the Michael Rappaport uh, mask tirade he went on? No. The actor from A Typical? Is that no. his name, Michael Rappaport? No. I haven't. Oh, boy. It's, 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 it's F-bomb laden, but it's very good. It's very, very good. And, uh, I'm surprised somebody hadn't sent it to me because I do love that show. Well, it's not from the show. It's just, it's just him... Uh, talking about mask, and of course he gets a little political about it. But I just like the fact that he, he, he was so passionate about it. About so uh, yeah, yeah, about mask. But uh, yes, mandatory mask. That is kind of the situation, um, pretty much everywhere, right? Yes. Well, I don't know if we're mandatory here, but they'll probably go that way. I just don't understand why you wouldn't. I mean, like I saw where the county judge was trying to get some more. Because yesterday, Mike Pence is in Dallas downtown at First Baptist, whatever. Um, sorry about that, fellow Baptist. Um, but uh, he was down there, and um, the, the, there's a local judge here that's kind of the, the guy that's been running the whole COVID deal, and he had a long list of things he was wanting the governor to uh, bring up, and uh, one of them was to bring back the mandatory mask because mom is in the green room. She must be late, so I'm going to pull her up, uh, pull this down, pull her up, I think I'll be able to hear, but I, if not, I'll have to put the headphones on. Mom, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Let me put the, uh, hold on. Put the. Uh, well, I, I, I want to put this into, well, can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so no, uh, but no, we're still not worrying. We're not, uh, we're not in. Uh, uh, Your mom was mad. What's up, mom? Nothing. I just, I was trying to give somebody else the. Uh, it, uh, to join you, Kevin is not not listening to my commands. Apparently, 
She's trying to give somebody else a shot in the green room. Oh, no one else. But is, everybody expects you to come no in. One else, Mom, no one else well, is going to really chime I'm pretty, in. Except, I'm pretty scary looking today. But no, anyway. it's uh, all good. I'm actually. I'm putting, scary looking every day. I mean, I, I come on here looking fresh out of the shower. But uh, yeah, the. Uh, I haven't, uh, I'm not even fresh out of the shower. I hate to say. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be fresh in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. So let's go up in Indiana well, today. Yeah, as you saw, tomorrow night at midnight, I believe it's tomorrow night at midnight or tonight at midnight, masks are mandatory. And so what, uh, in, that's in my question about that. I have a Elkhart. question about that. Is that, and this happened here too, because on Friday they wanted to go with this whole shut the bars down routine, but they gave them about five hours warning or six hours. They said at, at noon today. So if you're out drinking at 8 a.m., you had only four or five more hours to get your drinking in. So they're giving you guys a warning. Hey, by the way, the masks are coming. Is that something people need to be warned about? Or can they just not just say, hey, masks should be worn? Why are they giving you guys a warning? Well, they're, they were, they're mandated now. So the commissioners of the county, one of which is a friend of mine, uh, is mandated. Uh, Mr. Lucchese, who used to own Lucchese's, which I didn't know if you know, but it's closed now. Um, He's one of the commissioners. And uh, hi, Connie. Uh, tell Connie that she needs to call me later because we're going to take Sally. I have to take Sally to dinner this week. Her birthday is tomorrow. So anyway, hi, Connie. <laughs> I think she got the message. I think she can hear you. Yeah, uh, call mom, Connie, in case you didn't hear me. Yeah, she heard that. It's all good. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I... yeah. So they d voted today to make it mandatory if you're going to be out. So I'm, I guess that means you can get slapped on the wrist or whatever. If you don't have them on in a, in a situation, I mean, you don't have to drive around in them, but you know, uh, and it's not a problem for me because I, you know, I mean, you know, because uh, Elkhart County is kind of notorious right now. Our hospitals are getting full. Uh, they are, and you know, I'm one of my uh, uh, board members on Council on Aging. She's the vice president of nursing and patient care at Elkhart General. And my friend that I used to work for is CEO of Goshen. And he called her and asked her for more beds because they were Go full. On. And she said, she said, we don't have room for you. We don't have room for any more. We're full. So it's gotten to a, a kind of a crisis situation. Right, right. So, well, they, uh, the wife turned the AC off. We, just our initial, just really over the weekend, we, I mean, I didn't see anything more abnormal. I mean, we went to Fernando's on, you need to get the camera shot there, babe. We went to Fernando's on uh, Saturday and I mean, people were doing their thing. They were wearing their masks to the, to the seats and then they took, took it off to eat. And then, you know, the, 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 the servers were wearing their masks. There wasn't a lot of, wasn't a lot of major, uh, major issues as far as that's concerned. Uh, yogurt shop. We always wear masks. No, no, no issue. There's no, I mean, people are just, Following the rules. I mean, this morning on my walk this morning, I saw folks bring them in the car for crying out loud, but I, so dumb. which is ridiculous. But but people are, seem to be there's a few out there that that are got that are. But I mean, by and large, I mean, it seems like everybody's kind of falling the way. Is it that way up there? Well, I'm not out much. Uh, I did go out to dinner at Artisan. I can't even remember what day that was, uh, and sat at my place, the Queen's chair at the bar. But the next person was at the far end of the bar, more than six feet di social distancing, and there were only four whole total people in the bar area. There's a eating area, you know, above the bar, and then there were a lot of people in the other areas, but uh, and I'm, I've made reservations for when Chris and Annie come uh, at, they have a loft kind of a thing where we're going to eat together next Friday, and Sam and Stephanie, at, and, but, but uh, artisan is, uh, I mean, they're, they, they're all about it, you know, and artisan's probably the top restaurant in, in this area. And, you know, they are, have, haven't suffered as much as other people have, but you've got to, they've got to follow the protocol. You don't have to wear a mask when you're in there, but I walk in with a mask on. I think that's appropriate, you know, so. Uh, and well, I, of the, thing that, the, the thing that I read today that kind of sucks about them closing down the bars here was they didn't give the bars much notice. So like they were, saying that, they were saying that some of the bars had ordered a whole bunch of like crawfish for, sure. for craw, you know, so like now all this stuff that they like, if they would have been given any kind of heads up, 
they could have ha had time to prepare yeah. or, or, or alter this, their kind of ordering. This is the last week of crawfish season, really, and so the you know, last week or ten days, and so it's a big deal yeah. to have that final and there's, crawfish bowl of the and season. There's so many bars here that serve food, and they should have made some kind of some that kind of accommodation. Yeah, I. I, I yeah, my friend, I mentioned on Friday, my friend Tommy had that happen to him, and, and I, I haven't talked I, I to everybody, say. friends of ours that work in the restaurant business. And You're breaking up on me. Well, you know, our, our bars opened up just a week ago last Friday. So in the restaurants and those kinds of, so anyway, you have, I, I'm going to, I'm going to leave cause you have gone. You're not, you're not broadcasting on, on be live right now.
not sure what happened there, but uh, I believe we're actually up and rolling again. Sorry about that. Thank we, you, we, yeah, thank you, AT and T. You're the worst internet provider in the history of internet providers. Well, they keep sending me satisfaction surveys, and it keeps saying yours is the worst ever. And, and I and ever. I try to support the company because they're based in Texas, but I'm at the point now where I may have to support some New Jersey outfit or something just because because they're so garbage. I mean, this is what we do. What I do, I got a show tomorrow, a show Wednesday, a, you know, a show Thursday, and a show Friday. Uh, another show on Wednesday, six shows this week. And that's what I'm trying to do to keep me busy. And maybe at some point, if I do a good enough job, perhaps maybe one day I can get some monetary value out of it. But if it can't stay online, AT&T can't do a better job than that. That's terrible. We, we, that's, yeah, particularly with two extenders. I mean, like It's just it's ridiculous. So anyway, we're back. Sorry, I lost you, Mom. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we lost video. Sorry about that, guys. Mom, you can join us back, though, in a moment. We're back up. So we're actually, we're tethering. Here's a bit, here's a, here's the racket. Here's the, you want the ultimate racket of this whole thing. Okay, so AT&T, which is awful internet, just awful. They also are cell phone providers, mobile phones. Now, they're, they're tethering on Samsung. It's phenomenal. I've run, I've run broadcasts on the road with it when the internet's been dodgy. I've run it overseas on, online when it's been bad. The internet actually works really good in your phone. I mean, really, really good. Only problem is we're paying for what goes inside our house, and we're going to cost the data for what's on our phone. So they get the double whammy. We have unlimited they're, data. they're garbage, but yet they're making money on top of the garbage. That's a great racket. If you can do a business like that and get paid to be garbage, <laughs> more power to you. Because I don't get – believe me, if I was garbage on the air, they'd fire me. But yet those people can be garbage, and they, they can make more money on top of it. So anyway. And you're stuck. Yeah, you're stuck. I mean, you, you know, again, I mean, you're stuck. So anyway, we're all back. Sorry about that. We lost, we lost you guys. Uh, yeah, I lost you guys. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened there, but let me uh, see if I can get the uh, guest copy up uh, for you guys. Oops. There we go. Uh, did it come up or not? Hey, what were we saying, babe, before we went out? We were in the middle of something with mom and we went off the air, and I don't remember what it was, but... Um, was it about restaurants? Yeah, it was about... Well, we, again, oh, yeah, I was saying that, that the whole genius of it was uh, Fernando's, oh, yeah. we were out in the patio, and we had a really good view of this, and I was sitting facing where all the cars would pull up, and they, they've got a little opening there in the patio where they take out the to-go orders and the Uber people come and go and all that. I didn't realize it until I started watching that they, they were turning over some pretty fast to go. And it wasn't just the, again, it was people pulling up, getting an order real quick, or people pulling up and they'd order. And they actually, the waiters were going out there and taking orders, riding it down, hauling butt back inside, waiting five or 10 minutes, bringing the food back out. And they were in the patio. Now that's, Fernando's is, is, a, is a Mexican restaurant, two locations here. Midway and one up in North Dallas somewhere, in Plano, yeah. and but and, and they're, they're 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 the ultimate local business. It's a local business. They're not a chain. Um, they're not gonna you're not gonna find one in Seattle, um, but they. I don't know, unless one of the boys wants to. Well, I'm just saying in general, you're not gonna find. Yeah, it's not it's Chili's. Not it's not Chili's. What's the what's the uh, what's the barbecue place? Not Dickies? no 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 the one that it's, everybody thinks is so good. It's in all these cities. Um, it's, it's garbage. It's brutal. But anyway, not Dickies. Dickies is pretty consistent. Dickies is what we grew. Dickies actually started as a very much like Fernando's, an old a hometown local joint, couple of locations here and there, and they they went and franchised out of it. When we were in high school growing up, we went to school with the family, and they had two or three locations in Dallas. Is all I had. Now they've got them everywhere. everywhere. We grew up on Dickies as part of our go to. But anyway, mom came on. I guess we pull that off. So uh, sorry about that, Mom. I'm going to put the uh, link of the show up, but it won't rebooted. It does not let me do that. So let me try it again and see if I can. Nope, can't do it. All right, this is one part of the program I don't know, but uh, I'll get it. I'll get it. anyway. So we're going to close it anyway. But uh, yeah, we were talking about that. But they were doing a great job of, which I thought was kind of genius, of going out there and taking orders from folks that yeah. pulled up. And so almost like car hops, almost a almost a car hop. But you, you think of car hops in the 50s, Sonic deal, old school, yeah, you know, just and, and, you, and you think of car hops as more of a, uh, you know, a burger and fries joint. But this is a pretty decent yeah, place. Yeah. 
and they were doing car hop orders, and it was, I mean, they were flying them in and out of that yeah, place. they were hustling, hustling. Yeah, and so I don't know how, and I don't know their breakdown, how that is, but it definitely has changed. And I was telling my wife, two things have come up to me this week. A, what inventions or modifications to life will we continue to use going forward once we come out of this? Once we, once we find a... a, uh, a normal? Yeah, what, 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 will, what will still stay? I mean, will... We'll, we'll, I mean, will people still want to wear masks sometimes, just in case? Will they? On the airplane. I mean, probably. will will what will change? What won't? But there's something out there, and what that is, I have no idea. There's an invention out there. Something's going to come from this. It's going to be a genius invention that's going to wind up making somebody a lot of money. It's going to it will come from this pandemic. And like I've talked about on my Twitter too, that somebody out there is writing a script right now about this yeah. year. Because can you imagine the storylines of 2020? It's going to be crazy. And we're only through. Into July one, basically. Yeah, we're about halfway there. And we still got we're just just over halfway. All the storylines this year alone. I just think it was schools. Ugh. Well, some some creative people are all locked up, and I imagine you're going to have some great content we, we, down the road. Yeah, we they are locked up and producing. I hope my my hope is is that we lock up enough so that we can go back to to normal. You know, people just need to. All the rules. Yeah, well, that when that was kind of like Michael Rappaport said again. I'm not going to. I'm not saying it's politics or something. I, he did get a little political on it, but he was very. But he was very much the point. It was very much, you know, I'm speaking. He was speaking without a mask on, and I'm speaking and blowing all this at you. And then he puts his mask on. Now I'm speaking, and I'm not blowing that on you. Now that's just pretty simple. It was a pretty simple dis demonstration. Now, yes. He had a lot of f bombs in there, but again, it was a very simple demonstration of what a mask is there for, what a mask is there for. But uh, what do we got this week coming up? What do we got this week? We're going to do a show on Wednesday. Why are you yawning on the air? I don't know. I'm tired all of a sudden. You were, I need you, another Coke no, Zero. No, I see watch Yellowstone. And we're, we got ten. through uh, season two. two. Now we're on. So we'll have the two, two season three, yeah, nine. We'll be caught up. We'll be waiting. We'll be like everybody else waiting for, season, for the episode, episode. But. Uh, yeah, that's where we're what at. We have this week. I'm starting to do some planning for next year. Um, I'm starting to try to coordinate getting my SMU bill paid, um, and um, had to make sure I was caught up on the college board, you know, certification stuff. Just doing some little here and there things for school. Um, I've got some college recommendation letters to write. Um, trying to knock, you know, maybe one out a day. That's what I've been up to. Um, let's see what else is going on this week. Oh, we have a service. I mentioned that earlier. Noon um, Wednesday, right? Wednesday. We're and moving. We have, that's why I moved the T Bone show to tomorrow. Yeah, and then we have a um, we have a Fourth of July outdoor gathering at Christie's, and I imagine everybody will be in masks there. They better be. If not, I'm, I don't know if I'll stay. Anyway, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you go. All right. Okay. That's what right. we've got going on. What, else, what do you have going on? Uh, I mentioned already that I've got the uh, shows yeah, shows so tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Well, I wouldn't go too far. There's not a lot. Paul and I just talk. But the good thing about the show is it's not just me talking. Paul will talk too. But Paul's fun to listen to. I love so, you so we will uh, we'll, we will we will be together and just bore people to tears. But basically, what it is. It's stuff that you guys as Americans already know, but it's more or less for our Australian baseball fans, what's happening in baseball, kind of break down that a little bit, get back in the coverage mode for us. And then uh, – Did you have big wigs join you on that show? No, too? no, no one. It's not big enough. It's, it's even smaller than the T-Bone show. So we're still working on that. I say you could. Yeah, but, I mean, we have two – You guys two, still, know a lot of people. No. Well, I'm glad you think that. You're well connected. But uh, – Sonny Bryan's. Is that who he's? No, no, but I'm thinking of not Sonny Bryan's. I'm thinking of um, it's a Midwest chain, Dean, brother Dean. It's um, there's one in KC. It's not. It's not a Kansas City chain. It's it's. But there's one by the Legends. Arthur Bryan's. No, 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 no. There's one in Sioux City. It's a chain. It's a it's, it's a barbecue chain. It's not Dickies. It's not even close to that. It's Arthur Bryant's is good. I mean, Arthur Bryant's is no, solid. Really good. Uh, we can we can hold. We you know what? We'll do a whole barbecue show coming up. We'll do that because we can. 
I'd actually read a art, read article about the place in Taylor, Texas. Oh, what's that place called? Anyway, the guy the guy that owns the place in Taylor was actually in Australia doing a barbecue cook off when the whole lockdown happened. He had to scramble back to the states and and they'd and uh, and just just really got back. But uh, it's, what's that place in Taylor? I I'll, not off the top of my head, I can't remember. I'll think of that place on Wednesday. But uh, very good, good stuff. But uh, Anyway, guys, uh, that's about it, really. So that's what I got going on. So I guess we'll do this again on Wednesday at five o'clock, huh? Sounds good. Actually, it's not too hot. It's supposed to be hot Well, it is, and we and I'm starting to get. We start. This may start being moved inside. I hate to say it. We might even move it to later in the night, but I don't know why I want to do that because I don't want to take up my evenings either. But yeah. But I mean, it's getting a little warmer. Uh, the gear, the gear's not too bad. So. We will always try to fight through well, it. Well, we're on the shade in the umbrella, so. But it's 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 definitely warm. We have we have a mister system behind us, but it'd be terrible on our equipment. So uh, yeah, it would get us wet. Bell, bells and whistles, but um, yes, that's it. So uh, I'll let you go, and I will shut it down. Love you. Love you. All right, there we go. The wife uh, exiting stage. Uh, this be left or right? Left. Left. Okay. All right. I'm gonna slide back over. Sorry about that. All right, so some reminders quickly about the rest of the week. Uh, we've got a couple items. Of course, you can always check out the uh, broadcast you can cook on, that is on YouTube. It's up right now. And um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, text my mind, I'm going to special dish to barbecue. Yeah, when Sam finished. Yes. I, I think that's where that article I may have seen, Mom, was from. There's a place in Taylor. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. It's and it's a pretty famous place. There's several famous places, uh, you know, Blacks and Smitty's both down in uh, South Texas. There's several of them, but that's what the two names come up. There's a place in Taylor, and I, the name escapes me. I just, I can't remember. Yeah, I appreciate it, Mom. Uh, let's see here. But, uh, yeah, all good. Um, anyway, yes, the broadcast can cook. Uh, last night we actually – Tried out one of my recipes. We did the uh, uh, the grilled wings. Turned out divine. A little spicy garlic uh, wing sauce as well. Turned out really good. And we polished those bad boys off. Uh, we count Weight Watchers points. So normal wing is about five points, I think, something like that. We only had two points on those. That's pretty good. They're jumbo wings as well. Uh, that recipe, I do, I do believe that. No, that recipe is not up yet. I'm sorry. Uh, the salmon and the chicken breast are up. I'll be posting the wing recipe up uh, later on this week. It'll be up by the end of the week on the YouTube channel, though the broadcaster can cook. Go check it out. Of course, the other channels as well. There we go. I'll preview those for you. Uh, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram all right there. Of course, you're on Facebook. Love to have you guys join us this week as well on Talking Baseball Australia. And I'll preview that again. I'll preview it more on uh I'll preview it more on on Wednesday, but uh, you can uh, you'll see this little countdown coming up on Wednesday if I can find it for you. But you'll see the uh, Talking Baseball logo. Love to have you guys join us there. And that show, I believe, will be airing uh, our time nine o'clock p.m. I'm sorry, ten o'clock p.m. Central Time. But it'll be 11 o'clock a.m. in Australia on a Thursday, so that'll be coming up. Uh, this week, and that'll be th Wednesday night in the States, Thursday morning in Australia. Then again on Thursday, I got my T-Bones Great Ascents. I'll give you more of this on Wednesday, kind of give you more of a preview of it, but uh, you'll be able to see that on Wednesday as well, uh, T-Bones Greatest Hits, and I'll give you more insight. But uh, love how you follow me. Thanks for joining everybody out there, Mom, uh, GM, Connie, the whole list of thousands, all you guys that chatted along today. Uh, we'd love to have you join us in the virtual green room next time. But it's the time I hate the most. It's the time to shut down and shut it down. And we had to pull the old the old clothes sign up. It's the one we hate the most. There she is, the old clothes sign. And have a great rest of your week. We'll see you guys Wednesday at 5 o'clock right here. Same bat time, same bat channel on virtual happy hour. I love you guys. We'll see you all then. Let's roll the clothes here. Here we go. Mm -hmm.